Established in 1968, the Bonnyrigg White Eagles were originally known as the Avala Sports Club, winning promotion to the old First Division competition in 1977. In the last decade, the White Eagles spent three years in the Super League before winning promotion back up to the Premier League in 2009. This campaign is shaping up as one of the most successful in 42 years. Bonnyrigg had already secured the Premiership before a ball was kicked in round 22, sitting five points clear of the chasing pack, with 42 points while opponent West Sydney Berries were rooted at the bottom, 30 points behind the Eagles. In the 20th minute, Bonnyrigg had the ideal chance to take the lead after being awarded a penalty. Daniel Severino stepped up to score his ninth goal of the season. In the 26th minute, Brad Borman and former England youth international Jamie McMaster combined, but only desperate defending kept them at bay. It appeared to be only a matter of time before Bonnyrigg would add to the earlier penalty. Eight minutes before the half-time break, Boardman was looking to add to his 13-goal haul in his debut season with the Eagles. And in the 40th minute, Boardman played the role of provider for Severino, who was clinical. Bonnyrigg White Eagles led 2-0. The match was effectively over two minutes later, with McMaster setting up Nathan Alassi. There was some hope for the Berries just seconds before the half-time interval, but Phil Zabax, back for his first appearance since fracturing his skull in round eight, had the angles all covered. However, two minutes into the second half, there was a lifeline for the West Sydney Berries, with Stefan De Jesus, Johnny on the spot, to make it 3-1. The Berries continued to attack, but Zabax was in great touch. With 17 minutes remaining, the Berries came close again, this time through second-half sub Mark Symington. In the 82nd minute, the Premiers were awarded a penalty. This time, Elassie was fouled in the box, and it was McMaster's turn to make it 4-1. Second-half sub David Gulo sealed a wonderful day for the home team with the last goal of the match in the 86th minute. The Bonnyrigg White Eagles finished the season exactly the same way they started it, this time winning 5-1 against the West Sydney Berries. All that was left was the formality of the Premiership Cup presentation as Bonnyrigg celebrated a most remarkable season. The season for us so far is finished. Now we concentrate on, on our next goal, which is obviously the grand final. And um, yeah, like you said, in Australia, winning the grand final is the, the be-all and end-all. But, you know, really... The European way of winning, you know, first past the post is what we consider it to be the goal. Now we'll move on to our next. Meantime, Sutherland Sharks were at home to local rivals Rockdale City Suns. The Sharks had no hope of making the final series, but the Suns needed to win to stay in contention. Jim Backer struck for the Sharks from the penalty spot in the 14th minute, and Neil Jablonski doubled the lead on the stroke of half-time with a fine finish. On the hour, Rockdale had a penalty of their own, but Nathan Denham saved well before Sam Awad pulled it back to 2-1 in the 82nd minute. However, Ben Vidate sealed the three points for the home side two minutes later. Sutherland 3, Rockdale 1. Bonnerig are the new premiers, finishing five points clear of Blacktown. Goal difference split Sydney United and the big movers Arpia, while Marconi sealed a final series place in fifth position. Sutherland, who won last year's grand final, missed out. Rockdale had only lost four times in 22 matches, but they ended up in seventh position, four points clear of Bankstown. Manly was ninth, followed by South Coast Wolves, Sydney Olympic and the Berries. In the first week of the New South Wales Premier League final series, Arpia Leichhardt is at home to rivals Marconi in the elimination semi at Leichhardt at 3pm on Sunday. Blacktown will host Sydney United in the qualifying final at the same time at Lilyhome Stadium.